Hello, my name's Ken Knight. I'm from Princess Brokerage International. We're here on a quite a crisp day in Eastbourne, Sovereign Harbour, and we're here today to look at the really impressive S72 Dragon Slayer 5. I'd love to show you around. Here we are on the aft deck of Dragon Slayer on the S72 and straight away you do get that wow factor when you come onto the aft deck. There's just so much to look at and see. It's so open, so spacious, palatial, sporty, all those adjectives spring to mind as just uh, what, what you feel when you come on this boat. And it really combines the best of the Princess V series um, with the F series. So the S sits in the middle, pinching bits from both, and you, you have this model range, which is going from strength to strength, which just provides an owner with so much. It's a yacht that does so many things so well. Already, we just got on this main aft deck and I've, I've walked past the high-low platform, which uh, this owner's elected to put his tender on. But we've also got a garage in this boat, so we can have a Williams inside. This owner's got the boat set up, so he's got a jet ski in the garage and a tender. So again, it gives you more flexibility and the best of both worlds, arguably. This is a really high spec example. This is what we call med spec. And what we mean by that is air conditioning, uh, generator and passerelle. So we've got a letter, letterbox passerelle we've already come past, which is situated on the port side. We've got these big powered winches, port and starboard on the aft deck here. So if you are going stern to, you can let the boat do the work and, and, and pull the lines. Because this size of yacht, you know, it's not, uh, it's not about pulling lines. It's letting the mechanics and the boat do the work for you. On this aft deck, we've got this lovely big sun pad here. It's just a very social space, the way it links. So we've got a big table and get six people round, eight people potentially with the uh, director's chairs as well. And it just links really nicely. So it's a very nice entertaining space. We've also got our barbecue grill, sink, fridge on this aft deck. And it just it's very generous the way it's set out and configured. We've got an electric sliding uh, partition here, which we've got dropped down. The glass all slides back to the port side, so it makes it very easy and open, and just that lovely transition into the interior. And we've also got on this boat third helm station. Like I say, this is a, a really high specification boat, so we've got controls here for if we went stern two. And this boat also has got not only three driving positions, it's also got a dock mate remote control, which we can use from anywhere on the boat to, uh, to manoeuvre her. I think probably the best thing to do is uh, we'll head up to the flybridge and uh, take a look at that. So here we are on the flybridge of the uh, S72. It's a very generous space when we walk around here. We've got this nice big seating area on the starboard side, an insert that will come out. So, you know, if we're underway, we can have lots of people who've been forward facing and enjoying the uh, experience of when we're underway. We've got this nice wind deflector, takes the wind uh, up and over the, the front of the vessel. And then as we look, the rest of the flybridge, we've got another wet bar up here. So we've got a grill um, station, as well as fridge, sink, all these nice amenities, not just on the main deck. We've got another seating area. Again, easily get eight people around. So it's a very sociable uh, boat. You feel is set for entertaining for big groups, big families to enjoy their time on board. We've got a um, Bimini on this boat. This is a powered Bimini. It's quite an expensive upgrade. So that's motorized. It takes uh, all, all the huffing and puffing out of it. Very easy to, uh, to set up. And then we've got this glorious helm station, two really nice helm seats. It looks very simplistic when you sit down and then you wonder where all the tools are, but uh, they're very neatly, the instruments are very neatly hidden away on this uh, rising setup. So we've got two large Raymarine displays, our engine data, and it's all finished in a painted, uh, painting contrast to the white gel coat we have on the boat, just to give it a sense of occasion. What we have got on this boat is really nice uh, amongst all the equipment, and it is a very well-equipped boat, um, is hydraulic rather than electric, not to be mistaken between the two hydraulic um, thrusters. These have got the whole capabilities we see here. What that enables you to do as a skipper is two people can run this boat, two experienced people, because you can get the boat alongside, you can push the hold 
button in and it gives you uh, the option to select how much force you want to use and that will hold the boat against the dock so you can then go down and tie the boat up. Alternatively, don't feel comfortable doing that from up here. You've got your dock mate remote control which you can have around your neck and do it that way. So we've just come back from a sea trial and what I was amazed by was just how easy to handle this boat is. Um, she's a beautiful sea, sea going boat, very powerful as we said with the man engines give you speed um, you know in the upper 30 knot region subject to loading and and how clean the bottom is but that is well within the reach of the v12s that we've got on this boat 3600 horsepower you know they are not to be underestimated very strong engines you know you're doing over six knocks just in tick over on this boat so she's got so much to offer she's got performance uh, in spades let's go down and have a look on the uh, foredeck and uh, we'll explore a little bit more before we go inside. What is just clear is how, how powerful this boat is, how capable, how easy it is to use and exhilarating just to be on board. We're a big 72 foot boat, but it, it can hardly be handled by two people that are confident. These man engines really give it plenty of get up and go. We're cruising mid 30 knots, very, very comfortable. And it's just a joy to be on board. I hope you enjoyed the video. So as we come down these side decks, we can see this really nice, chunky stainless steel handrails. Princess did this so well, made down in Plymouth uh, in the yard. All the stainless steel is drawn on site, and just the attention to detail is lovely. We've got these big uh, fender lockers, both port and starboard. This one's full of lines, but yeah, the advantage if you're short-handed crew-wise is that you can just load all the fenders in there. You don't have to take them back to the aft of the vessel for storage. Just makes it that much quicker and easier to set up when you come in to tie up. Got a Portuguese seating here, which is familiar to many people now. Great place for sundowners. We won't have any of those today, unfortunately. But yeah, very comfortable. Big sun beds, lifting up backrests. A little bit more storage underneath there as well. We've got a nice fusion stereo system up here. So it's its own area in its own right. We've also got an option on this boat to put stanchions in for a, a sunshade. So if you did want a bit more sun, not to, again like that's a problem today, um, you've got that opportunity to have that. I must admit, we're quite lucky to have this uh, S72 on our books. Uh, it's a rare boat to have in UK waters. I mean, look at that, it's a real stunning vessel. We've already drawn several admiring glances today. So it's quite a wow boat, and whoever the next owner is is sure to attract attention wherever they go. Let's go and explore a little bit more inside. So as we get ready to go into this saloon, straight away we've got this boat very open. You can just see how sociable it is. Like I said, a big family, large group of friends can really enjoy this boat. When the weather's really nice, you can open it right up. And this is what Princess do so well. Very beamy, very spacious. We've got these large aperture windows all the way around the boat, quite modest sized mullions, given the fact that we've got a flybridge up there, given the fact we've got an electric sliding roof as well. It just ticks so many boxes, this boat. It's really impressive. When I sit down in the saloon, we've got this nice leather U-shaped settee. Got uh, this lovely leather coffee table as well. Just lots of design cues in this example of the boat, um, which are options that the original owner chose. Just makes it a little bit more special. Quite unusually, this has got the light oak the joinery package on board. So again, it makes it feel very contemporary, very modern, and just helps to distinguish it from other models that are out there. On the port side here, I think we've got an ebony insert. So it's just very stylized insert on the joinery, just gives it a real sense of occasion. We've got our TV, which will pop up at the push of a button and yeah, just makes it nice and neat the way it's stowed away. And then the forward area of the saloon is dominated by this circular dinette table. We've got a couple of stools that are neatly stowed underneath, can easily be brought out to extend it. Very flexible space. We can fold the leaf over to make it smaller, more of a coffee table. But you can get lots of people around here. It just gives it a real soft feel the way it's got lots of curves in the boat. Very design led this model, I would say. As we approach the uh, helm station here, I mean, wow, it, the visibility are afforded from this uh, quite raised, I mean, I'm about five foot nine, just have to hop up, got a nice foot rest. But the visibility, once you're uh, at the helm seat, is fantastic. The wheel falls to hand, We've got our man throttles. We've talked about our proportional hydraulic thrusters that are very, very handy on this boat when you're manoeuvring close quarter and coming alongside. We've got large 
uh, Raymarine touchscreen uh, plotters, pair of them, and then a pair of Bonning's engine displays. So this will give us all our engine data digitally on these screens here. And then we've got Raymarine multifunction, autopilot, all our controls for windscreen wipers. There's a, quite a lot going on here, but actually, you know, it's all quite paired back to the essential equipment. This is our main breaker panel, so we can start our air conditioning from here as well. Um, and then we've got AC controls and the ability to open the roof from here. We've also got a side door on this boat, so we've got a sort of skipper door, so it's got an air seal. It has to be a bit strong on that, so um, it doesn't flail around at sea. But yeah, it gives you direct access to the deck, which is really handy either for ventilation or getting access onto the deck quickly. You know, if we are coming into berth, we've got our dockmate controller here, so we can control the whole of the boat via this, uh, via this clever little tool, have it round your neck, got our thruster control, and uh, we control our main engines from there as well, which is great. I think what we'll do is uh, we'll go down below and look at the accommodation. So here we are coming down to the lower deck on Dragon Slayer 5 and straight away I just love some of the design elements of incorporating this boat, so successful, beautiful curved staircase, simple stainless steel handrails so you just feel safe and secure moving around the boat and then we've got this sort of cantilevered uh, seating area which came over the top here just beautifully done, really well detailed. So this has got a midships galley, got a large fridge, freezer underneath, sink, four burner convection uh, hob then we've got our microwave convection we've got a dishwasher as well so it's really well equipped fully equipped galley uh, and easy to service the, the table up there this boat set out as a three cabin three heads arrangement we've got a twin cabin on the starboard side uh, with its own heads or a jack and jill door so it can also be used as a day head as well but what we're going to do now is going to have a look at the vip cabin forward So here we are on the VIP cabin forward, so it's a, a double central island berth so you can access both sides. Lovely amount of light, very pleasant place to be in here. We've got big natural light coming in from uh, both port and starboard. We've also got opening portholes so if you do want some natural ventilation, but you've also got the ability to have the heating or air conditioning on in this cabin as well. All the cabins on this boat uh, have got strong AV packages, so we've got a fusion stereo system, a TV as well. Big hanging locker on the starboard side, storage under the berth, and just a very nice sort of little makeup area there with a chair and big mirror as well. We've also got the ensuite, which is uh, situated on the port side here. Classic princess heads, very large shower. Always get a generous size shower on these uh, on these boats, making the most of the whole shape nicely appointed. We've got quite a unique marble package on this boat, as well as the mosaic tiling. We've got heads, sink, uh, and some more storage as well. As you explore a bit further, this is uh, another heads compartment. So like I say, we've got three heads on this boat. This is the day access. So we've got two, uh, two doors going into this area. You can access it as an ensuite off the twin or directly off this, uh, this galley sort of lower saloon area. I think what we'll do is go and have a look at the master, which is really impressive on this boat. Um, and just before we get in there, we've also got a, a washer dryer, which is just neatly stowed under the stairs there. Uh, just allows, if you're on for a longer period of time, to uh, have stronger house systems. But this master cabin, wow, this is what we want to see. This is a beautiful cabin. Um, light and bright, detailed, huge amounts uh, of light coming in. Again, ability to naturally ventilate this cabin. We've got our standard sofa here as well, but it doesn't feel anything sta standard about it when you sat down. It's beautifully soft leather. Uh, it's just the, the fit and finish of this boat is, is what Princess do so well. Big center island berth, interesting backboard. The level of detail that, that is hard to put across when you're looking at a video is just really impressive. But also the design elements of this boat are very enduring and I think that's why it looks as fresh as it does today as to the day she was built. We've got, like other cabins, we've got an AV package on this boat, so we've got a TV built into the bulkhead here. It's just beautiful everywhere you look. On the port side, 
we've got a very nice dressing area on this boat. It's, um, it's got some really nice like, detailing again, beautifully curved drawers. It can be used as a vanity unit, but equally if someone needs to get away from everyone on deck and do a little bit of work on a laptop, it's a nice quiet place to come, lovely view out, but also to enjoy a bit of peace and quiet. With the 72, one thing that really distinguishes this, uh, this vessel from everything else in the fleet is when you move to a linear uh, en suite that this boat has got. We've got a storage on our uh, port side behind me, but we just walk around and we go into this glorious en suite bathroom. So I just love the way you can walk into this linear uh, heads compartment from the main cabin. This boat was spec with lots of options when she was built by the original owner, and that's really present in all the heads compartment one of the big options and very expensive options that fitted was the marble upgrade on this boat. So we've got that on the floor and on the worktops through all the three heads compartments uh, and it gives a real special and unique feel to the boat. We've also got this beautiful mosaic finish uh, which is in the shower compartments. Again, just gives that enhanced finish to already beautifully polished and uh, presented product. So in summary today, uh, Dragon Slayer 5 is a distinctive S72, it's got a garage, it's got the electric roof, it's got the flybridge, it's got the Portuguese seating on the bow, what's there not to enjoy? If you'd like to find out more about this vessel, please do visit our website uh, princess.co.uk and if you like or subscribe to this channel it helps and that, that site will give you more information about the vessel, the specification, a 3D tour and importantly the price. Thank you for your time today.